Okay, so I took them all off and I measured the resistances. Uh, it's a little bit strange. No, it's not strange, it's just different to what I thought. Yeah, here it is. So where the 470k was, it said that it was 500, uh, 5.3k. Where the 47k is, it said 84k. Where the 22k is, it said 49k. Then where the 4.7, 4.9, then a bit. But that's as far as I could go. So I decided to change that. And I put a 10k pot there instead. Um, and now we've got 6 volts output here. And it's exact as well. Three, uh, three things each. 6 volts peak to peak. Three that way, three this way. Um, but I can adjust that a little bit more and it does make a difference. But I suppose then I'll have to start going around doing the whole thing again but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the voltages but I'm going to do the voltages uh, here I know you, that's not a very good very good view of anything if I put it there it won't be too too much in the way but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, I can't how are you going to see this oh you can put that there can't I I'll put that little one a little one. Yeah, if I do that and I balance this behind here, I need to tidy up. It's going to drive me nuts. And I put this just to 20 volts. This is my freebie from um, from Rigel UK. Right. So let's have a look and see what's going on the um, on the plate. Oh God! I'm going to do this while I put my hands in. I didn't think of that, did I? So if I just stick that down there. It says 4.42. Oh, you can't see. 4.40. That's from the negative going onto this anode connection. Okay, and then let's go to the grid. This is the negative we got out of the way. What we got? 0.55 oh that's bad we've got a negative on there now ok and let's have a look at the cathode 1.32 oh ok and we got more output we got less on the grid more on the cathode hmm Okay, when I was doing it before as well, I did uh, like a positive thing. I took a look at this uh, grid as a positive. So from the positive connection onto the grid, which will be, oh I don't know, on the negative side, 7.24 volts. On, that's, oh I don't know. I need to go back to my books. I don't know if that's of any interest to anybody the way that's worked out and if I do another positive connection to uh, to this this plate this um, this uh, grid here it says 11.13 uh, but I don't think that's right because we should be looking at it from the negative shouldn't we and there we got half 0.5 so that's that that's that so that's the best result so far. I'm just gonna have a little tiny tweak on the um, on the plate first, and just see what happens there. Not a lot of room, not a lot of space there. I could put a 100k pot. It's gone up a little bit, 6.12. And now it's dropping down, but that could just be because this. Yeah, that's. Um these pots are not the greatest the pots so I've just gone past the best part I think let's get back there again so you got that 6.12 6, there we go 6.12 it is flapping about a bit not the greatest of pots and this is the uh, this is the positive to the to the grids 
So we'll just turn that 616. Oh, it's not quite happy. 616, it's just settled up there. And it is bobbing about a bit. And if I do the negative to the grid, oh, let's go back. That was just a slight touch. Slight touch. But now there's a slight. I don't know if you can see that it's there we go that's better Got to tweak that back down again just to get that you know bang on so we got like three each side of the of the line and if I put this back up here I know you don't want to see it but I'm going to tweak this 10k pot on the uh, cathode Oh, you can't see it. Can you? I'll put that there. Let's just have a little, little tweak of this. So that's that's going down, uh, which is also going down. So that's like probably about four and a half now, four and a half k. So I'll go back up again, going towards more towards ten k. So that's six. There's got to be a point where it goes back. Six sixteen. That's at the six sixteen, but it's a little bit more bottom down here than what it is at the top there on the on the thingy. So if I go back the way it was, see if I can put. Oh, in actual fact, I reckon I might be able to do that from the plate. Wow, that is so, so touching. Oh, well, we'll try it from this uh, negative to the grid. We we'll just went back there again. That's it. That puts that straight back, but we we'll lose, lose a little tiny bit of. So we'll just get on the balance there, and then just adjust this cathode again. So it's the same as what it was. So that's a 604. Back on the negative to the grid. That's back in the middle, but we've gone down to 58. Let's try that positive to the grid. There's no more actual movement on that one. That's the positive to the grid. And I'm going to give that back to the 500k or as close as it will get to that. Going back to the uh, positive to the anode, to the plate. And that's. That's giving it a full whack. What was that? 50k, wasn't it? That's, like that. That's 50k then. So I just take that down a bit. If I go down to like halfway, which would be 22k, which is probably around right there somewhere. There's not that much difference. I mean, that's on 5.8. Well, that's on 6 now. I just wanted to get it perfectly in the middle again, like it was before. I think it might be sense to do this place. But this video must be going on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop really and just it was just in case I just wanted to fuck around with it and get a better idea of what I adjust and how it adjusts the uh, the voltages. And I just went over what it was. I've got a footing for you, and that's going to be more like 5.5k. 6k. No.
Anyway. That's where I want that. And then I'm going to readjust from here. It's pretty much all the adjustment I'm going to get on that on that on that um, 400k pop back to the plate. So there's a big run there. Not really. I can on that base on the uh, cathode even now I've gone back to the negative part of the there we go, we're back on sort of 6 volts back on 6 volts so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good goes to show quite a bit of adjustment that can be made just playing around with them pots but that'll do Cheers for watching guys. And uh, any idea why this glows at the top? Doesn't get overly warm. You know, well it's warm of course because it's got some heat going on in there but it's not too warm. It almost looks like this sort of dulled out here, doesn't it? Like, like, like it's been blurred out. But maybe it's just my eyes. Maybe I need to give this a rest for the day. Anyway, uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.